The FC Dallas heads back out on the road for a midweek match with Seattle Sounders FC. How will the team handle the quick turnaround from Sunday's game? And what will Michelle's return from suspension mean for the team? We'll discuss that and more in this week's Keys to the Match, driven by Toyota. The FC Dallas is heading into a Wednesday night match coming off a game at home on Sunday, giving the team just two days off between fixtures. That little rest is going to be a tough test for FCD. Yeah, exactly, and this is a week where depth is going to be so important for FC Dallas. Of course, Zach Lloyd and Michelle back from their red card suspensions, and a guy like Adam Moffitt could play a part on Wednesday. Of course, he didn't play on Sunday. So for FC Dallas, when you have seven games in the month of May like they do, players 1 through 30 on the roster need to be ready, and we saw that last week with guys like Victor Ulloa and Danny Garcia coming into the game and doing a great job. Of course, this will be the second time FC Dallas will face Seattle this year, and Dallas will be looking to carry over some lessons from last month's 3-2 loss to the Sounders in order to get a result on the road Wednesday night. Right, and while the last game against the Sounders was incredibly entertaining, I don't think it's a scenario that FC Dallas is going to want to recreate on Wednesday. Um, when you're playing at CenturyLink Field, you want to keep the game tight and composed in defense and not get into a track meet with the Sounders, because that's always going to be difficult. I think the blueprint for FC Dallas is when they played against Kansas City at the start of the season. They kept it tight, they broke quick on the counterattack, and if they can recreate that on Wednesday, they have a good shot at three points. FC Dallas should get a boost from the return of Michelle from his one-game suspension. They certainly would have liked to have his service on dead balls in the game against New York on Sunday. Right, and above almost any other player, they probably missed Michelle the most in that game. They drew six fouls in the attacking half. They also had six corner kicks, including those four back-to-back -back right at the end of the game, and they just didn't quite get enough out of those. Having Michelle back, of course, in the stadium where he scored that Olympico last year, could be a huge boost for the team. Head to fcdallas.com slash pubs to find the Budweiser pub partner closest to you that will be showing Wednesday's game. The match kicks off at 9 p.m. Central Time and will be broadcast in high definition locally on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel 148. For the English radio call, be sure to tune in to the Word 100.7 FM with Steve Davis. And for our Spanish listeners, catch the game on 1270 AM La Voz del Pueblo with your host Carlos Alvarado. That does it for us this week. For the keys to the match driven by Toyota, I'm Scott Brown. And I'm Daniel Robertson. We'll see you next time.